in the beautiful, beautiful garlic, um, wild garlic and bluebell woodland here in Kent. It's actually we're in East Sussex. It's gorgeous. It's so, so beautiful. I don't know if you can see behind. You can. You can see the wild garlic. Um, there are bluebells off to the other side as well. And uh, if I take you around this way, the light is so harsh. Uh, actually, you can't see into the dark there, can you? Well, behind me there, no, you can't see at all. There are bluebells. Um, but there's no one around. And we are going to... Uh, I'm going to get my kit off, basically. It's the most stunning, stunning day. You can see the sky. Not a cloud. Um, it's not great. Bright sunshine, white flowers. It's not ideal for photography in some ways. And yet it's too beautiful not to photograph. We're going to go into the, the shade as well. Um, but we'll try and get some behind the scenes footage uh, as usual. And I'll post this up with some of the finished images. Um, catch up with you a little bit later. So this this is the garlic look just look all the way around it just goes on and on the road is just down there but it is this vast space bluebells wild garlic and even if you just come with me for a second I believe I'm not great on flowers but I believe these are orchids. They are exquisitely beautiful. And the smell, the smell in here is amazing. If you don't like garlic, then it's not amazing. But oh, it's gorgeous, beautiful. And we've got some images um, taken up against that tree there, that one there. Um, we're gonna move on to a different location. try and do the laying down shots we're going to try and find a really dense um, section of the wild garlic so that Luke can because um, as always it's creative light um, doing this shoot with me so I'm just go and follow his um, uh, YouTube channel and Instagram so we're going to find a dense um, swathe of the wild garlic that Luke can shoot over um, so that I'm not disturbing the wild garlic. Um, not sure if the same rules apply um, to wild garlic as the bluebells. I don't think it's a protected flower, um, but we are being very careful of it anyway. Um, oh, it's such a beautiful smell. <laughs> um, completely overpowers the bluebells, which in themselves have a beautiful scent. Um, anyway. I'm waffling. We're going to go and find uh, a really dense patch of wild garlic and do um, some more art nude. So catch up with you in a little bit. This is the last area that we have shot in, uh, just down there. You can see the light is just beautiful, just gorgeous. Um, wildlife here, so many birds. It's... Oh, it's magical. We're right by the road. Um, but apart from the occasional car, you wouldn't know that there was civilization here. But look, it just goes on and on and on. <laughs> it's just glorious. I don't know what the garlic, wild garlic season is uh, in terms of duration. Um, but it's, um, I think it's all the more special by the fact that it's, you know, it's not always here, which is beautiful. And that is us. 
done. So we're heading home. Um, we did have quite a shoot planned for today, a whole series of shoots at a completely different location, um, but we overslept. So this, <laughs> this is what we settled on instead. We do have one more planned for sunset today. Not sure uh, that we're going to fit it in. Um, if we do, we'll make a separate video. If we don't get it done this evening, then we'll find another uh, night for it. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this one. Another, say, little slice of the English countryside um, with a naked body in it. What could be better than that? Take care, all of you, and I will see you again very soon.